test, test. Betul dengar tak? Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to... Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Dishley's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Once it can be... Now! You'll find... The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr... Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. The edges mustn't curl and turn brown like that. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. Nice work in Defence Against the Dark Arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Grab a few. Now, see that dummy? 
Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing.
prove dangerous if I'm not careful. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I I'm still learning, but... I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Halo is up to. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I've always said that- I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! Allow me to put you out of the I see you better. Incendio. Stupid choice has become personal. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. I'm not going anywhere with you. You'll take this student off of my dead body! You're going to regret that. Come on, Lupus, you're afraid to fight. Release me! 
What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial cl I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the... Precise! I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk... Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Rebellion. Repair. Them. Pillars are pyres, and pyres are meant to be lit. Incendio. Huh. 
here. You've got the mallow, sweet twerk. Now, what to do about these pyres? Incendio! Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. Hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Don't you find it chilly in the be someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin.
Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't... Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper Feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. A well-prepared witch Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the Fwopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Not again! Oh, smell! Dragon dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Miss, your potion should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Ah! 
I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions. As for the work you did today at your own... I confess I was... skeptical. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master. In addition to having a solid... Pay particular attention in her bollock. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to... That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Aura. Oh. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor... Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you. And your ris... He was vague as to de... I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see... About a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a... I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Ah, oh, you've brought hope to this old one-maker's heart. Professor... F On another adventure, are we? Can't imagine how inconvenient.
Revelio. The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. Don't mind me, Owls. I'm just here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? I recognize these handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. Revelio. My best keep looking. I'll take that, thank you. Nothing. Ah, here's a welcome surprise. Statues here. Revelio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Levioso Accio Incendio Accio Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Accio. This'll do nicely. I'd best keep looking. <clears throat> Nothing. Oh, no statues here. I'd best keep looking. <sighs> Nothing. Accio. 
shield. No statues here. I'll take that, thank you. doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. I'd best keep looking. Ah. Here's a welcome surprise. Incendio! Revelio! Incendio! What's happening? Could it be? Someone solved my puzzle after all these years. Well done, and good news. If you... Richard Jackdaw. The Richard Jackdaw. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on. I'm almost so... What map? Red... So, you stole a wand? Odd to hear it all reduced to such a... I don't, really. I'll... Indeed. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly said, hence, if you... If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet... If you don't mind the sight of a, well, ma... Revelio. Incendio. Repair. Incendio.
I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Incendio! I don't think I can do this now. Best to come back.
Perhaps I shall scout around. Incendio! Stop picking around like a baby It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Revelio. I should investigate. Rebellion. Could it be? 
a Merlin trial. Incendio. Revelio. I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Pay close attention. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Repairer. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. I see. Expelliarmus. Hey, Mayra. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Dengar tak suara ke? Come on. 
Expand the armors. Protego. Expel the arms. Revelio. Expel the armors. Dengar je tapi slow sikit. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uncle Life is on TikTok. How nice to see you, my young friend. I don't know. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin or Greek. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed, a few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sh- Nothing to do now but keep going. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Can you just wait a minute? Ah, 
to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora's left me. What are you up to now? I wonder how big this place is. doesn't stay lit for long. I need to light all three before they time out on me. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Protego! Incendio! It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Revelio.
กมสตอรี่แค่นี้อ่าเกมสตอรี่อาเกียกุญแจเกิดอาเกียร Rebellio. Akio. Potato. 
Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Revelio Akio I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. This can't be what the head is with the dragon. Incendio! Rodeo! Incendio!
There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what they're heading for the jagger. Protego! Incendio! Incendio. Accio. There's a victory that came none too soon. Ugh. Rebellion. Touched chest. Teradol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. <sighs> Must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. There's Jackdaw looking dead as. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Incendio. Let me 
shield. Starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must... I'm the same age. You've paid attention. To see... As you have, like... We can act... Opportunity. I won't, Professor. We have... Much, but first, a map... I don't have the book with... Hmm. That is... I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place.
I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? 